Hey guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to show you a haul I did for some of the new Maybelline and L'Oreal uh, Fall 2013 collections. And I do have a few miscellaneous things, so I'm, so I'm going to start off with those first. Um, and I didn't get as much as I thought I would. I didn't get any eye products at all because which my husband would, would love that I didn't because <laughs> I saved money. But I didn't just because as beautiful as they were, the, the Maybelline um, quads, they were gorgeous. I feel like I had a lot of similar things from previous quads from Maybelline as well as um, from Wet n Wild. I saw a lot of overlap and similarities like with Petal Pusher and things like that. So I stayed away, but I wanted to try and get some other things. And there was some stuff I really loved. Um, and then some stuff I wanted to try so I really tried to limit it and I know that more new things are gonna come out So let me just get started uh, First I'm just gonna start off with two nail polishes one from Essie one from OPI OPI has the new San Francisco um, Line and I only got one color. I got appears to be tan and it's like a dash peers like you know like a peer on the water and it is this beautiful like tan like this just looks like a nice caramel, like leather, like leather bomber jacket color. So I'm really excited to use this. It's so pretty. I'm actually wearing no nail polish because I'm trying to do like a nail polish dupes video. So I was going like swatching nail polishes and then I went shopping and had to test these out. Um, but yes, yeah, so I love this color. So this is the only one. There were some really beautiful colors, but again, nothing really stood out to me. And this is Bobbing for Bobbles. And it is like this nice like charcoal, dark gray. It's really dark um, and it, I don't think it has any kind of iridescence or shimmer or anything like that. I did put it on my nail and it was really, really dark. And it seemed like nothing special, but I think this will be really nice for the fall and winter, obviously. And also, I don't really have anything like this. I'm looking at my nail polish now. Yeah, I don't think I have anything like this. So I picked it up. So I did pick up another Color Whisper. Um, Aileen from Nilia476. Um, I'll link her down below if I remember. If not, just definitely check her out because I love her. She was telling me I had purchased, I forgot where I put it, but a color whisper and I loved it. It's one of the new ones. And she was like, oh, you need to check out a few of the other ones. So I went back and I did look at them. I don't like swatching drugstore lipsticks and lip glosses and things like this just because unless I know I'm going to buy that specific one, I just hate when I open it and it's been swatched. So I don't want to be that person. But this is so pretty. This is red around town. And I just loved the color of it. So look at that. I mean, th these really just have really great color payoff. Love, love, love it. And I think these are so moisturizing. So I picked this up. And the other colors, again, very pretty. But I was just like, I don't need them. So I didn't get them. So let me just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to do the Maybelline first. Then I'll do L'Oreal. I'll start with the nail polishes. I got four of them. Normally I wouldn't, but these are like $2.99. Um, and I got all of this stuff, all of the stuff that I'm going to show you, I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. My CVS didn't have it. I went to Walgreens. Yes, uh, two days ago they didn't have it. Rite Aid didn't have them. And uh, I really, I was dying for these. These are the vintage leather. I needed these like... I mean, I need these like I need more nail polish. Come on. I really don't like a hole in the head, you know, but I need them. I'm just such a sucker for textured nail polish and vintage leather. Like this is so different. So I needed to get them. I went to Walmart. I went to Kmart. None of them had it. Target. So I was at Bed Bath & Beyond and their stuff is so cheap. And I had like a 20% off of your whole order coupon, which I was psyched about. So I did get four. I'm like rambling. Sorry, guys. I'm just so excited. I got vintage violet which is beautiful. It's very dark. Um, it, some of these look like they have sparkle, but I don't know if it's that or if it's just something inside of it that makes it, maybe it makes it like crackle. Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of sparkle in here. Um, I will let you guys know. Follow me on Instagram. I always post pictures when I do manicures, especially with new stuff. Um, so I got that in Vintage Violet. I got Classic Camel. Look how gorgeous this color is. I feel like 
I was going to say this and the violet would be so pretty together, but I feel like this and the, the blue would be so pretty. And this is Antique Teal. Gorgeous! I got the Antique Teal because the girl in the ad was wearing it, and I just... I could not walk away without this in my little basket. And Ageless Olive. I just thought that was really cool also. So I got that. And then for lips, there were four colors... Uh, for lipsticks, the first color is like a fuchsia-like, and I feel like it's very similar to at least two or three, at least two other color vivids I have from Maybelline, and then similar to like eight other lipsticks I have. So I didn't get that one, and then the second one in the line, which is a purple, sorry, is very similar to Divine from CoverGirl, which is like my all-time favorite purple lipstick. I wore it to my brother's wedding. And then the last purple is like super, super dark. And when I looked at it, I was just like, that on me is just not going to look good. So I got this one. This is Lavender Voltage. Check that out. On my viewfinder, it's coming off blue. <laughs> so I hope you can see that it is purple, but gorgeous. And these just are, I mean, I love, 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 love. It does look like this is going to be maybe a little streaky. Um, so it might be a little difficult to apply, but you could see those blue undertones. It's beautiful. I'm so excited. I'd put it on now if I wasn't wearing, if I hadn't just applied lipstick. But um, again, on Instagram, I will post pictures or on Keek. I do a lot of face of the day. Um, I'll post all pictures or little short videos with me wearing these so you guys can see. So make sure you go in the info bar and check me out there. I got the Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss. This is a limited edition also. This is in Purple Royale. I don't know what this looks like. I just knew I needed it because I am obsessed with purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Look at that. It's right here. So what I was hoping was that it wouldn't just be clear. So, it, you know, like with a slight tinge of purple. But, yeah, so that is nice. That's going to be nice over a bunch of different things. I'm so excited guys okay now for the l'oreal um i got they have the color you know like lipstick like things and they have the lilac and the la matte so the matte are obviously matte and the lilac are like lacquers they're more liquidy looking so let's do the lilac first um they had a whole bunch um i can't i don't know i don't know how many i think there was like four of each like four matte and four lacquer but I just you know again tried to be really good I had all eight of them or however many um in my basket and I was like get real Adrian you're not a millionaire okay so they are twist top so they just go like that and they are like pointed I'm just going to swatch this okay this kind of goes on very similarly to any kind of <laughs> lipstick that's like this, like in the crayon kind of uh, twist version. And very similar to the e.l.f. ones. Um, I wonder where I have them. Yes, the, uh, the e.l.f. lip colors that are like this. This is a matte one, but this is... It smells like... It, it doesn't smell good or bad. It smells like something... From when I was younger. I always say that and I never know what it is. But anyway, so that's that swatch. I mean, it is very opaque. This is laconic. Very opaque. That's just with like two or three strokes. So I feel like these are going to be really, really nice. And I like that it's pointed because it'll be easy to line. However, we all know that's not going to stay like that. So, And then this color is lacquerized. And... <sighs> Of course, I had to get this, right? Look at that color. Oh, just love it. This is like a beautiful blue-based, like, bubblegum pink. It's so pretty. Gorgeous. I know. I just, I say everything. I describe everything the same, but that's all I know. I'm not a professional here. Um, so then for the La Matte, um, and it's La Lac, and then this is Le Matte, I guess, L-E. Um, I got this color. This is matte for me. 
yeah, this is like almost exactly like the e.l.f. matte ones. This is matte for me. Beautiful. But it just, it doesn't seem as dry. And this, the lighting in here stinks. This is like a, it's red, but it, it has like a pink mauve, mauve uh, undertone from what I can see. Very pretty. What is that? You know what it smells like? It smells like Barbies. Which I know basically means it smells like plastic, but I like the smell because it's not that like overt, gross chemical plastic smell. It's, it reminds me of Barbies, you know, my childhood. How could I not have good <laughs> memories of that? And then I got this color. She's so matte. Oh, wow, I like, did, I'm not very good at like picking places to swatch. This is very pretty. I don't think I have a lot of colors like this. And this is like a pink with a hinge of, tinge of like coral. Again, I don't know what you guys are seeing until I edit this because on my screen it looks, here it looks orange, here it looks red, who knows. But it definitely is like a pink coral color. Beautiful. Barbies, I'm telling you. Love it. So, oh my gosh, my videos are always so long, guys. I just can't help it, especially when I'm swatching stuff. So that said, I don't think I did too bad. I definitely could have purchased way more. I didn't get any of the eyeliners or eyeshadows for Maybelline. I don't remember if L'Oreal had, I don't think they had any eye stuff. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled because I'm sure they will have something for fall. And I did not get all of the leather <laughs> finish nail polishes and I wanted to. And I stayed away from the other, the other lipsticks from Maybelline even though... I wanted them. Same thing with L'Oreal. So I could have done worse. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you tried other colors that you're in love with, let me know. And um, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. You have a great weekend, week, whenever I post this. And don't forget, stay blessed. Bye.